there are many factors, whether it's uh, economic uh, indicators that would suggest there may be a recession on the horizon, the, the war in Ukraine, uh, the, the lockdown in China. There are a whole host of issues, but we're not seeing it yet in our demand patterns. So that pent up demand, the bucket list, whatever we call it, yes. that's still driving. No question. That and the fact that in the U.S., which is our biggest market, there are $2 trillion plus or minus in savings accounts. Right. And I'm certainly not a sociologist, but I do think you talk about bucket list. I think the uncertainty created by the pandemic is causing folks to say, I want to start checking items off that bucket list. And it's rarely the purchase of goods. It's experiences and travel. When you do look now at what your priorities are, what are they? Uh, we've got to continue to restore confidence in the safety of travel, particularly in the group segment. Uh, if you believe the numbers, one in five jobs lost over the last two years was in the tourism and travel sector. Uh, yeah, we've, and, and for decades, it was a sector that was viewed as a safe harbor for employment. We've got to restore that confidence in the workforce. Uh, and then I think technology. Increasingly, the adoption of technology by necessity through the pandemic We've got to continue to invest and innovate on the technology sure. front. Airbnb is withdrawing from China. That's not something you could do even if you wanted to. You've got lots of hotels there and your pipeline is there. So how are you managing this lockdown and uncertainty in China, which will be with us for the foreseeable future, I think? Well, the great thing about our business, as you well know, we get to reprice and resell our inventory each and every day. And so it has been intellectually fascinating to watch. There will be a breakout in a major city in China. Lockdown is put in place. We see demand fall precipitously. But when containment is achieved and the market opens back up, we see occupancy recover very, very quickly. And so there's a great deal of uncertainty, and that's why it's such a worry for us. Give me some optimism. Give me some optimism. The demand for our hotels, particularly in leisure segments, led the recovery. Year to date, we're 10% ahead of where we were in 19 in leisure. What I'm most encouraged about, if you look at our performance in the first quarter, group business has roared back. In the U.S., we think through the last three quarters of the year, we'll be single digits shy of where we were in 19. Business travel, lots of discussion about business travel is forever changed. It'll be reduced <laughs> permanently by 50%. In the fourth quarter of the last year, we were down 30%. In the first quarter of this year, down between 10 and 15. So there is slow, steady recovery in business travel.